Okay, fight fans, fight fiends, welcome to my official Eve Ulysses vs. Steve Claggett breakdown video, aka the evidence video. You see, I caught a lot of flack on social media for talking about this fight. I even used the horrible word robbery. Now, I used that word because I was expressing the fact that the judges scored the fight wrong. And this is my opinion, which I'm entitled to. If you go to thefightcity.com, which is a real journalistic endeavor, you'll find unbiased, clear-cut journalism. However, here on my personal page, you will find opinions. My opinions. So, to explain what I mean when I say Eve Ulysses won this fight, and, you know, again, I use that word, that horrible word, robbery, the reason I use these words is because whether it's an inch or a mile, it doesn't matter. And when I say that, I'm referring to bad calls. You see, because a lot of people are saying, Manny, why are you making such a big fuss about this? You can't change it. That's right. Well, what do you expect to happen from this? Well, other than the rematch, I expect people to be educated. I want those judges trembling before they write down their scorecard because they know they're going to be accountable to me because you see here's my overall problem with this whole thing these judges who we only know by name disappear into the night and never have to explain themselves we have to sit there and guess and figure out how the hell they came up with their scores well i did that over and over and over. I watched it in slow motion. I watched it with the volume off. I watched it in reverse for fuck's sakes. I did everything you could think of to this video because it was that important to me. Now a lot of people are saying, Manny, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. I say this to you. A couple years ago, I saw Tyson Cave get screwed over in the Eskandone fight and I lost my top on the internet. But I figured I am not alone and sooner or later they're gonna fix this. There's no way Tyson Cave is gonna get screwed over. Everyone knows he won that fight. Well here we are years later and Tyson Cave is fighting in Nova Scotia and Eskandon handed over his belt not long after having won it from Tyson Cave. You ask Tyson Cave what he thinks of bad decisions. Now I realize Steve Claggett's been on the bad decision as well. He knows exactly all too well what it is. And I say this to all those people and Tyson Cave included. I'm sorry I didn't do more. That being said, here we are with the Eve Ulysses Steve Claggett fight. The biggest fight in Eve Ulysses' career. Top 15 ranking after this. Big money fight. Possibility of fighting on Showtime. There was all kinds of stuff, I mentioned it on my page, but more importantly, there were some real consequences to this fight. And what I fear the most is that Steve Claggett runs off into the sunset and doesn't take advantage of this. You see, we need a rematch. And the only way I'll accept and bite my lip if the rematch doesn't happen, somehow he gets a big fight in Las Vegas for some big money, I'll bite my lip. And we'll get our rematch after that. But if this guy goes back to beating up construction workers in Alberta, I will lose my mind. So, this is why it's so important that I'm doing what I'm doing. So, the very next part of this video is going to be some edited parts. I'm admitting to editing this video, by the way. That, that's a whole nother can of worms we can get into, but not the point. In this video that I edited together, I'm putting together what I think won the fight for Eve Ulysses. You see, even though Steve Claggett was mounting the majority of the pressure in the fight, and he had all of the forward momentum, Eve Ulysses had better defense, better counter punching. Steve Claggett barely throws more than three punches in a row. There's basically maybe two combinations for me to pull out of that video from him. However, Eve Ulysses is throwing all kinds of combinations, including a six-punch combination you guys are going to watch in a minute, that actually all land. If you're slipping and moving, it doesn't mean you're losing. So folks, I want you to watch this video, and I'll see you on the other side of it. Enjoy. 
Et c'est parti Junior Ulis contre Steve Claggett. On va dire Le Claggett est tout de suite parti. Junior Ulis contre Steve Claggett. On va dire Passez à la chasse. Passez à la chasse. Euh, le même type de Claguette. Claguette. De jouer au plus faible. Pas de bonne idée. Pas de bonne idée. Il est un boxeur différent. Il est un boxeur différent. Ah, C'est ce qu'il a dit. Oh, deux bons cocards. Oh, Vraiment Constantin pour le Marif. Vraiment Constantin pour le Marif. Réfléchis une défaite. Réfléchis une défaite. Les Québécois. Encore là, il touche. Les Québécois. Encore là, il touche. Lui, euh, Ulysse était champion. De David Lemieux sur HBO avec ça. Alourdir ses jambes, l'empêcher de. Alourdir ses jambes, alourdir ses jambes, l'empêcher. Junior Ulysse ne bronche pas, continue à lancer des coups tout de même à reculons. Junior Ulysse ne bronche pas, continue à lancer des coups tout de même à reculons. Oh, mais ça a quand même touché la cible. Ah, que c'était. Oh, mais ça a quand même touché la cible. Alors là, en contre-attaque, trois bons coups. Ici, perd d'équilibre, mais le coup était quand même à marquer. Il part bien placé la droite du côté de Claguette. Super léger pour Junior Ulysse. Terence Crawford, qui est considéré comme un des meilleurs boxeurs au monde. Il faut les... Boxeur de Loma A, très bon boxeur. Et là, il y a beaucoup de frustration hein, pour Claggett. Ça se passe pas, hein, pas du tout comme il est. Thank <laughs> you. 
C'était bien contre-attaque ici. Ulysse, là, il est sournois, là. À un moment donné, tu ne bouges pas, tu n'as pas l'impression. Il saute dans le visage. sa main arrière, là, au moment où il est, c'est fait. Et là, son uppercut. Donc, Jagas, là, commence à être plus incisif. Il en a. Oh, pas de poids! Ça, c'est de la puissance, il en a. Bon job. Il y a aussi un vrai petit junior Ulysse dans les cas. On a l'impression de voir Brandon Cook au mois de janvier. On a l'impression de voir Brandon Cook au mois de janvier. Il 
the people are gone. At a moment donné, the people are gone. At a moment donné, at this moment, là, donc il est suivi, il faut qu'il continue à bouger les mains hauts. C'est le dragon, c'est plus un dragon, c'est un chien rangé. Il est après une liste, mais il n'est pas capable de le rejoindre. Et à chaque fois qu'il arrive, il se... Le yellow power round du liste. Et là, là... Le yellow power round du liste. Le yellow power round du liste. Le yellow power round du Parce que là, le liste a beaucoup de plaisir à lui à ranger la face. Une autre part. Le yellow power round. Mtelus, il est venu pour se battre, il est venu pour causer la surprise. Théâtre Mtelus, il est venu pour se battre, il est venu 
Huh? Not bad, eh? Now I realize I'm the one that edited it. So I invite any of Steve Claggett's fans that think I'm stupid to go ahead and edit their version their way. And they can make a video explaining how they thought Steve Claggett won. I'm not going to do the work for you. So other than the constant pressure and the forward momentum, Steve Claggett threw 802 punches and landed 210. That's 26% punch effectiveness. Eve Ulysses was constantly moving. He had excellent defense. He slipped, evaded, ducked. He did everything you're supposed to do. The large majority of the attacks were stifled from Eve Ulysses just plain old making Steve Claggett miss. He had more counter punches. He landed more clean punches. He landed more power shots. He landed more combinations. He threw more combinations. He landed more body shots. All in all, he threw 901 punches and landed 306, which is a 36 punch percentage. Now I realize landed punches doesn't mean a person won the fight. However, the thing is, most of Steve Claggett's punches didn't hit the mark. Eve Ulysses was playing with him. That's the way I saw it. If you think different, go ahead, come at me, I'm ready for you.